Look how many fuckers. I'm scared. Nah, we're going to get jumped. I really feel like we're going to get jumped. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah! Trump supporters are everywhere. I'm scared. I don't like it with their big ass truck. I don't like this shit. Look at this. Look at this. Look how they walking around. With fake guns and covering their fucking face. I don't like this shit. Mama. Mama. Hey guys. So I want to do this video, right? Because I've been seeing this tweet, right? i seen this tweet that it had me and it had other female rappers on it. And they were talking about, they were talking about if we could get Birkins for the Hermes store. And there was also talking, uh, there was also saying how we depreciate the value of a Hermes Birkin bag. And I find that really interesting, right? Because first thing first, right? I definitely could get a bag. Actually, I got four bags today for the Hermes store. That's one. I don't want to brag, but it's like, don't even try it. And second of all, how do why is it that y'all asking female rappers if y'all could get a if they could get a bag from the Hermes store? Y'all don't do these to these white celebrities. Y'all don't do these to these white celebrities. So why is it that y'all gotta be asking us? What the fuck? <laughs> it just makes you wanna be bra like it just makes you wanna brag like bitch you know who the fuck you're talking to, but no, I'm not even gonna take it there. And um Another thing is that they saying that we depreciate the value. Actually, we add value because in hip hop, when we mention brands in hip hop, they shit go up. Let me tell you something. You can actually Google when I did Bodak Yellow. I didn't start it, no Louboutin and everything. But when Bodak Yellow came out, you could actually Google that their sales went up a thousand plus percent. I don't, I don't know what it was, but it, it they definitely made an article out of it. Um. When I did, I like it like that. Um, and I said, I like those Balenciagas, the ones that look like socks. They shit went up too, and that's why they worked with me this year. Um, when Migos did Versace, I saw everybody. It took like two weeks for everybody. They were coming with the Versace shirts, Versace's uh freaking glasses versace pants versace sneakers versace socks fucking versace grills god damn it you know what i'm saying like hip-hop we start trend and it's, when y'all said that we devalue shit no we actually add value and another thing is like it's like why want a black girl why want a hispanic girl have a bag y'all have to question it whether oh is it fake or she's a scammer or she hasn't or she fucking a nigga for it there's a lot of boss ass bitches out here there's a lot of boss ass bitches that own their company there's realtors there's prs there's uh a and r's there's doctors there's dentists and the list go fucking on a lot of instagram models they're getting like twenty thousand dollars a fucking post like this bitches is getting money out here and let me tell you something if you're a regular girl you don't gotta break your neck to have a birkin a birkin don't make you a nigga don't give a fuck if you have a birkin or an aldo purse my nigga they still gonna fucks with you and a lot of bitches they don't even be wearing labels and they have, they swaggy as fuck. They mix that Fashion Nova with the Zara and the H&M amazingly. There's a lot of bitches out here that be fly as fuck but swagless. Fly swagless hoes. The fuck? So don't ever feel like you got to compare yourself. Don't ever feel like you got to go to Canal Street and get a fake one to keep up. Like this, the internet life, don't compare yourself to nobody to the internet. This internet shit is fake. Everybody got this. Everybody got down the internet. I went to the club. I don't see nobody with it. I don't see nobody with it. And that's okay. Because you still a bad fucking bitch. Period. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups yeah. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in
Hello there. So, are you looking for like a raw inspired meals that you can eat for breakfast, lunch, maybe a good snack? <laughs> I got you. Let's make one. I know what you're saying. Ooh, okra. But no, I need you to say, ooh, okra. Nails on the toes. Yeah, the nails are fire there. Ooh. Suck some. They can see. Put it in the comments. Tell them to suck some, y'all. She ain't trying to say. I need some. Some crab queens for the win. Hmm. I said, hmm. Mm hmm. Look at that. Lobster mac and cheese. And all the flavors. And all the flavors. And all the flavors. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. My mouth is watering. My mouth is watering. Oh, my God. Hmm. Running back and forth like that. What number? Are you going back? You're going to start.